Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be checking out the free assets for the month of February. Basically, if you don't know, Epic gives away six free asset packs every single month. For the first half of the month of February, basically you have two weeks to claim these three free asset packs. You claim them once, you'll own them forever. So in this video, we'll be reviewing the three free asset packs that we get for this first half of the month of February. And let me know what you guys think about these free assets down in the comments down below. It is a little bit early. For some reason, Epic is starting the giveaway in January, even though it's not February yet, but that just means that you have a little less time to claim these free assets. So make sure that you go ahead and head over to the link in the description to go ahead and claim them before they leave the marketplace forever. And so without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first asset pack that we have here is the Sika Dynasty. So basically this is sort of like a Asian style environment. So if we go in to here, I can show you guys some of the different props. So this stuff is actually pretty well detailed, as you can see from some of the different assets in here. And this level looks really nice. I can zoom in, you can see there's some leaves on the ground over there. But the nice thing about this map is that it has a ton of different areas that you can explore. So it's like a fully designed map or level. So you can see there's different areas we can go to this sort of courtyard area. And so there's these different pathways that the player can take. So this is sort of like this little shrine area. So as you can see, it sort of has like this alleyway. And yeah, just look at all the detail on some of the assets. Very nice detail. I love these little lanterns. It seems like we're getting a lot of these Asian styled environments or Japanese styled environments. At least I feel like we've gotten a lot of that in the past. So yeah, look at these I think they're cherry blossom trees, maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but as you can see, we have some leaves falling from the ground. I really like these light shafts as well. But here is like the little marketplace that has a bunch of different pots and stuff that people are selling. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be, like a little fireball or lantern or something. But yeah, you can see this is sort of like the town center, maybe like the marketplace center, but from that area, there's a lot of places on this map to explore. So maybe I can show you guys a little bit more of the map, but over here, you can see that there is a little pathway. So it kind of reminds you of like a souls like game, maybe like black myth Wukong. But yeah, as you can see, here is another area. Looks like this is like a trading post or something. I'm not really sure, but you can see the pathway winds back into the courtyard. So overall, the map is not super large, but you can see basically how they have these different pathways that you can take that wind up in the same sort of area. Let's go ahead and check out the sample level. So these are all the assets that we saw in previous level. So you can see all the different modular props. And I honestly like the style of these assets. I know they're not super high detailed nanite quality, but they honestly look pretty good for some you know, game ready assets or props. So they're not too costly to use these in your game. They are pretty, they're pretty decently detailed, not using too much geometry. Okay, so here are some of the different wall assets, the different building props. I'll try and show more of these. And I love the design. So you can see some of the designs there. And even on those wall pieces, here are some of the different statues and some of the pillars. So again, I love these little designs, just all the details of these dragon asset props. Some of the different walkway pieces, the bricks, staircases, little gazebo there. These are some of the different walls or buildings. So it looks like these are just the building walls, some door pieces, and then some of the ceilings, as you can see. Some more wall assets, and then of course the trees that we saw in that level. So yeah, overall pretty decent pack. Like I said, we I feel like we've been getting a lot of these Asian style environments in the past, or at least I feel like every other month it seems that we're getting one of these assets. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments down below. And the next pack that we have here is this clay pots nanite plus low poly. So basically, this clay pots pack comes with nanite quality pots. So you can see some of the details. This is actual nanite geometry. So what they've done is they've actually gone ahead and stamped out the details. So you can see the little engravings on the actual pots. And I'll pop in the nanite view to show you guys this. But yeah, as you can see, some of these are pretty detailed. 
with some advanced designs. And then these are pretty much all the different pot designs, but in the back, they have the actual low poly versions of these meshes with normal maps. So if you guys don't want to use Nanite in your game, you can use the same assets, but these are low poly. So these are just using some normal maps. So I think it's honestly nice that the asset creator, the seller included these two different versions. You know, you have the high poly asset as well as the low poly version. So depending on what type of you know, style you're going for in your game, if you're trying to go for the high detailed Nanite theme, you could, you know, pick to use, opt to use the higher detailed meshes if you wanted to. So it's just nice that they include these options. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much all the assets in this pack. Again, I'll show you guys the Nanite view just so you guys can see. So you can see how detailed some of these pots are when you zoom in to stuff like the little engravings. But yeah, that is the pots, clay pots pack. The last asset pack that we have here is the Ultimate Interaction Manager. So again, this is another interaction pack. I'm honestly not too fond of these types of packs because I feel like we've gotten a interaction system every single month. I feel like we're just getting a lot of this type of stuff. So yeah, me personally, I'm not too fond of this stuff. So yeah, over here, this is the Ultimate Interaction Manager. So we have this little showcase, this tap interaction. So I can go up to this, press E to grab. Okay, press E to interact. I'll press a little button down. And then we have F to interact. I'll press a little button down. So it looks like they're using these little spheres to work as the interaction distance. So you can only interact if you get close enough to the object that you want to interact with. And then we have a hold interaction. So we go up to this object. If I press E, you can see that it's holding it down. And let's see, we have a repeat interaction. So you have to press 10 times to activate this. So let's spam this and you can see it's done. Then we have this door interaction. So let's go up to this and press E to rotate and open this door. Kind of reminds you of some of the interaction from like Half-Life 2, but that is basically the entire uh, interaction manager demo level. So just a very simple blueprint interaction system. Again, I'm not too fond of these asset packs because I feel like every month we're getting some sort of interaction system. I remember last month, at least we got some system similar to this. And me personally, I don't really benefit from this type of stuff because I feel like a interaction system is you know, fairly simple to create yourself. But yeah, those are the three free assets for this month or the first half of the month of February, even if it's not technically February yet. So you'll have till the 11th of February to claim these assets before they go back to being paid. And then at which point on the second half of February, I'll make another video about the next three free assets that we're going to get. But yeah, let me know what you guys' thoughts on this down in the comments down below. It feels like we're getting a lot of repeats of asset packs you know, of the same theme. So hopefully they will switch things up a little bit and we'll get some different type of stuff for the second half of the month. But that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.